foreign exchange. When we're working out foreign exchange, we look at the exchange rate. So Ewan is going to change on holidays at uh, India and he's changing £450 into Indian rupees. So what they tell us is £1 is equal to 99.40 rupees. £2 would be 2 lots of 99.40. £3 would be 3 lots of 99.40. So the £450 would be 450 multiplied by 99.40. So when we change money from hours to theirs, you multiply by the exchange rate. Part B. Ewan exchanges his money on arrival in India. The exchange rate is now £1 equals 99.72 rupees. The exchange bureau has only 500 rupee notes. Ewan wants to buy as many rupees as possible with his £450 savings. So he's got up to £450 to... to okay... All right, you've got up to £450 to exchange. So the most he could have now on this new rate is 450 times 99.72. And if I'm doing 450 times 99.72, the most he could have is 44,874 rupees. But, okay, but the problem with this one so the most he could have there is 44,874 rupees. The problem with this is, okay, they only got 500 rupee notes. So because they've only got 500 rupee notes, they could have, he could have 44,000 if he wanted to. He could have 44,500 because that would be the next one up. And the next one up from that would be 45,000, but he hasn't got enough money together. So the most he can have is this, all right? So the most he could have is 44,500 rupees. So we need to now find out how much that costs. So with that exchange rate, right, using one pound equals 99.72, you'd multiply to exchange there, to change back, you divide. So to find how much that costs, I'm doing 44,500 divided by 99.72. So I'm doing 44,500 divided by 99.72, which comes up as 446 pound, and comes up as 0.249. So when you're dealing with money, it's to two decimal places. So it's two after the point. So, because it's two after the point, okay, then you're rounding it off the four. So, because you're rounding it after the four, it becomes £446.25 because the nine rounds up because it's higher than the five.